Good morning everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Happy Factory, this is episode 8 and we are setting up a science production uh, it's a science factory, it's a factory where they produce science uh, I think this is exactly how they do it in real life they have factories and the factories produce science, oh my god this is horrible now that I look at it, it's just horrible, uh, it's horrible in that it's really difficult it's going to be really difficult to turn this into a uh, proper main bus I have to uh, I mean, the, the idea is sound, it's just uh, the implementation that's kinda awkward. So let's uh, let's move the entire thing by a few tiles. So this is going to be a splitter. And like that. And let's make a splitter here. And like, oops, oh, uh, annoyingly it's, uh, uh, I'm not even going to talk about it. Uh, this this slot system just randomly generates this ooh, sound that's, that's that's might be annoying. Okay, anyway, uh, this is where we're going to have um, ICs. Now let's get iron. Good. Uh, why is it not? Wait, I'm confused now. Ah, now it's fine. Okay, so. Um, this is this is also a small glitch. Okay, so we have uh, all the things coming that we need. We should just connect it, and I'm going to clean this up. And this is going to be for medium electric poles. I have no intention of going back to of ever using small electric poles. Uh, it actually makes I guess makes some sense if you're playing with a mod that uh, has uh, some kind of a tree factory. Uh, I know Tree Factory sounds super silly, but uh, why are we doing it this way? No, it. Oh yes, we're doing it this way because uh, it's going to have an output from the bottom. Okay, that makes some sense. Uh, yeah, it's not symmetric between the top and the bottom, and maybe it should be. Good. So now let's connect it here. I think it's a really nice and compact uh, version of a science factory. Nothing crazy. Uh, I just need to connect it and I just need to get some iron and gears. So how are we going to do that? I'm just going to move it by one. Like that. Uh, it was actually much easier than the older version because we could we would have one more slot to do this shenanigans I want to do now. So, uh, yes, so I could just uh, merge iron and gears here so let's do it like that this is gears this is iron uh possibly i need to move it a bit just to make space for the main bus uh wait this is stuck it shouldn't be stuck okay let's try to reconnect it properly okay now it shouldn't be stuck do we have gears coming okay so this should uh, have all the things it needs. Well, let's just put a medium electric pole here. Uh, let's put a lot more medium electric. Okay, let's just first connect this and then... Uh, how can I connect this most easily? Uh, this is fine, I guess. Well, I'm just going to go grab more uh, medium electric poles. Hopefully some of them have been produced by now. Uh, chests, uh, that's missing for a simple reason that we don't have any uh, stone. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just make one uh, trip to get some stone. Okay, that's enough medium electric poles for now. Uh, those should now go to obsolete chests, I guess. Uh, okay, there's some stone here. That's a lot of stone. Oh, and now it's, it's gone. Okay, so uh, that's why I wanted to do a small, uh, just put a one miner, just to extract every every bit of stone for, for, from like a very small field. Connecting this to entire system just is just silly. Oh, I don't have any space. Uh, I guess some of the stuff like copper and iron gears I should just get rid of. But first let's get stone. Uh, all the stone we can move here. Uh, let's make it a proper chest so we can just carry all the stone. Let's get some, uh, some coal into it. Uh, I could diver make, a, make a diversion from here, but that's not going to be very high. Uh, that's never going to have a very high production, so that's fine. Okay, so 
I need an obsolete chest. I think I set up an obsolete chest, but I forgot about it already by now. So uh, let's make an obsolete chest. Obsolete. It's a, it's very central in the base, so it's going to be easy to put stuff here. So this is obsolete. This is obsolete. Everything else should be useful for something. Uh, I'll just get rid of all the copper. It's nice that they don't try to get as much as possible. So if you have excess, you can just put this in fa factories uh, without any problems. Yeah, just put this here. So uh, just outputting excess stuff you have into factories uh, uh, is an easy way to get rid of this without wasting it anyway. Okay, so now we have space. Uh, and now we have a lot of medium electric poles, so now we can connect the science uh, factory. Do, they, do people actually call the like? People should start calling uh, all the science labs they work in uh, science factories. That just sounds so much better. It's a factory that makes science. It's just so much more natural. Okay, this is actually kind of silly because I did not make it symmetric as I should have done. Ah uh, well. On on the scale of uh, first world problems, this is definitely a first world problem. From the first to world problem, yes, that's that, that's the scale. It goes from the first to to the world problem. Uh, what else? So we have this, uh, let's just add some medium electric poles. Yeah, so the wiring is not super elegant. Okay, so it should produce them fast enough. Assuming it gets enough stuff. And it is not getting enough stuff. Not even close. Oh, okay. It doesn't have uh, electricity, that makes perfect sense now. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's producing them fast enough. Uh, those should, like, this should be uh, saturated really quickly. Since uh, it's overproduced them by a factor of 2 to 1, this should be just in time. Uh, at least that's the idea. Anyway. Uh, I expect to see this line completely saturated because I don't have enough uh, laps. I actually don't know what's the ratio between the manufacturers and laps because they use completely different units. Uh, so, where's the green... Okay, there's some green science. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to disassemble the uh, the lap on the bottom. Uh, where's my lap assembly? Where's my other science factory? Okay, here's the other science factory. Let's just disassemble the entire thing. Uh, yeah, I can even disassemble the poles. One, one, one thing that's really annoying is that <coughs> un until you have robots, it's so, so to disassemble things. Assembling things is really fast, but disassembling things is so slow. Uh, yeah, especially since I just ran out of my... Uh, I ran out... Uh, I just completely used my axe, so that's why... That's the reason. Uh, where the hell is steel? Uh, and steel and iron. Okay. Let's get some steel. Iron. I don't need, I don't need many. Just need a few. Steel production is so low, actually. Give me more steel. Oh, because I use use all the steel to make electric poles. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's a, that's a legitimate number of electric poles. And there's not enough iron. Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, let's get grab some of those and let's continue upgrading. Uh, it will take a while. Uh, I could like set up some f something fancy to make this faster, but that's just fine. Uh, okay, research, research, research. Uh, what do they need? Uh, well, I kind of need everything. Oil processing. Ah, yes, this is actually something really useful. Uh, let's get that as well. Uh, yeah, so this is the plan. Uh, to go from coal-based economy to, to into oil-based economy? What the hell is happening there? How is it not connected? Oh, because I ran out of uh, electric poles before I could connect it. Yeah, so I'm not going to go all over the base and replace them uh, right now. Eventually I want to get rid of all the small electric poles. Uh, I don't plan to use any, any them for anything new, but uh, for now they can just uh, stay where they are and that's fine. Uh, I want to get rid of this, this field. Um, it's mildly annoying to have those small random coal fields. Uh, and yeah, I should rotate that. That's. I don't know if that's going to. Uh, if one uh, stone, one chest is going to be enough. Maybe not, but that's fine. Just get rid of this. Okay, let's continue.
now I have some. Uh, I have one axe? Seriously? Fine. I should have a small factory of steel axes. What the hell? How did I disconnect this? Uh, okay, I disconnected everything accidentally. Oh, so yeah, so uh, that, that was the only way that the uh, stuff on the bottom was connected to stuff at the top. Actually, it happens a lot. That, uh, it's really hard to see how things are connected to each other, you just see if, there's, if they're connected or not. What the hell? Is it not connected? Okay, this is too far. So, if you try to like restructure some part of your factory, you accidentally break some other parts that are not really related. It happens a lot. Uh, if I if I am aware that I'm doing something like that, of course, I, then I will just uh, make a redundant connection somewhere. But you still need to be aware uh, before that actually happens. Okay. Now we have everything that we need, and since we don't no longer need this diversion, let's just remove that and that. Yeah, and this is just a straight line now. Okay. Uh, one really ugly thing about uh, having a main bus is is how the diversion trying to divert a few things. It tends to just look kind of ugly. Uh, this gear manufacture. Oh, this is a level ones. Oh my god, I still use level ones for basically everything. I forgot about it completely. Okay, so let's make. Uh, uh, let's do a trip all around the factory and make sure there are no more level 1s anywhere. Uh, how many level 2s I have? 7? Seriously, I just have 7? Uh, wait, what? What do you, what do you need? So you, you're lacking uh, in... Uh, you're lacking just, just, just iron. Okay, let's make, give you some iron. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so you just start building with uh, level 1 assemblers and small electric poles and uh, slow transport belts. I still have slow transport belts everywhere. Okay, that's good. So this part is, is upgraded. Do I have any other assemblers? No, every I think this is the... Yeah, let's just click on it. Uh, I have no more level 1 assemblers. Okay, this is fine. These were the last ones. Uh, let's just uh, move them into uh, level 2 assembler factory. Good, so now we have all the assemblers I need. Uh, I mean, all of the assemblers are upgraded. Uh, is science working? I don't see any green. Uh, and also this is not connected. Um, let's connect this one. Uh, yeah, I was not very caref careful with connections. Fine, whatever. Okay, so why am I not getting green ones? Okay, this is overproduced, that's correct. I, that's that's what, what I expected. This is not produced fast enough because there's not enough gears. Okay, so it's an input problem. There's not enough gears input into the science factory. The science factory in itself is probably just fine. So what's the next step? The next step I want to do... Uh, well, I kind of want to make sure that this all this stuff is, is saturated, so... Uh, all those random uh, chests with stuff, they kind of... Wait, why do I have so many gears here? Uh, I should just output them. Oh yeah, let, okay, let's get rid of those gears. Uh, like that. Fine. It, it will take a long time to unload this, but fine, that's, that's just exactly... Uh, or I could just take some of those and move them, uh, just put them into those factories for now, so it just speeds up the research by a bit. It's a silly manual process, but what can you do? Oh, actually, I could just move them here. Yeah, just move them here, so... That's enough space. Okay, that that solves the gear situation. Oh, and let's uh, add the rest of the labs, and I'm just going to add them on the bottom. Uh, I could actually like wire. I could just belt uh, the blue science and the alien science here, uh, and just leave an extra space. But that's an easy change to do later. So for now, I'm just going to do it an easy way. Uh, there's probably too many labs here, and not enough. Uh, well, actually, no. There's definitely the, the ratio between different different science parts should be fine, uh, assuming the consumption is always one to one, and that's not always true. Some of the technology needs a bit more of one kind of science versus other kind of science. Uh, I never actually uh, think about it too much. Okay, so now we can add some lights. Uh, let's add lights to every other pole or something like that, so it doesn't look horrible at night. 
uh, I mean, the mod just changes the saturation. It doesn't change the brightness, so uh, maybe it should also brighten things up a bit. Uh, I think the night is just too too dark. Uh, sadly, I, I don't know where's the setup, where's the setting for uh, for the night night date cycle. I would like this. I mean, I get it that the night should be darker. Obviously, that's how it works, but it shouldn't be that ridiculously dark. I think it just goes a bit too far. Uh, entire graphics is just trying. I think it's trying too hard to make this uh, into this like post-apocalyptic nonsense. Uh, it should just, it's just this happy factory game, you just make it factory, whatever. Oops, that just doesn't actually go anywhere. Uh, let's make it here. Good. Alright, okay, so next next step. Uh, I could actually just completely randomly click on stuff. Uh, fleet handling, that sounds fine. Uh, actually, bigger tool belt would probably be like the most important thing ne to get next. Okay, so what do we need? Uh, first, let's take a look at it. Okay, I can still double the size of the factory and still have... St uh, enough power, so I don't have to care about that part. And we have some number of furnaces, so let's continue upgrading. I uh, guess I could rebuild the entire thing uh, using medium electric poles to make this uh, more compact. Uh, at some point I'll do it. Okay, so we have... Where's the obsolete chest? This is obsolete chest. Uh, I guess I, I need this for the boiler, so it's not completely obsolete. Um, it would be really nice. Uh, where's my, uh, no, where's my uh, character? Can I? I'm kind of confused. This is inventory. Okay. Where's my? Uh, oh, oh, so uh, once I discover robots, it would be really nice to go to trash slots so I could just move stuff like that into trash slots. And obviously, this is going to be quite a while until we discover all this stuff. Anyway, so we got really far, and all the electric poles. Yeah, this is going really nicely. I need a bunch more furnaces. Why are those not connected? Uh, I think I didn't notice because I tend to just like always... Uh, I often have like extra stuff like iron ore or like just randomly picked from from the flo from uh, uh, from the ground and they just put them into the, all those furnaces and factories and then I don't notice that actually uh, uh, they don't have connections since I just added the connections manually. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Uh, every time I uh, disassemble something, I should uh, I'm just going to take all the obsolete stuff, like uh, small electric poles, and move them to obsolete chests the next time I'm, I'm anywhere near obsolete chest. Uh, this this actually doesn't need any lamps because like the furnaces like uh, make light on their own. So this is one exception to the, to the normal rule. Okay, so what do we need? Uh, we could start doing some oil ref ref refining. So we cannot actually make an oil ref refinery. Uh, uh, we can do that. Yeah. I, I, oh, not not in not in this setup. Okay. So how many pump jacks do I need? I don't need ma very many pump jacks. So I there's no point having a factory from pump jacks, and it's not even possible to make a factory for oil refinery. It's one of very few things that requires uh, five different inputs. Uh, I don't know why they did it. Uh, there's really no reason. Uh, they could just like get rid of gears and just just add all other things. For example, steel plate, uh, stone brick, uh, electric circuit, and pipe. Like uh, pipe and gears both need the same thing or have some intermediate. So this is one thing you you literally cannot do in any kind of factory. Okay, so let's get a bunch of. Uh, uh, and because I don't have fluid handling yet, I cannot actually make. Uh, uh, what is this called? This silo for uh, <laughs> silo for oil. Yes, silo for oil is definitely the right phrasing. Uh, whatever it's called, uh, I cannot make this yet, so uh, I don't need heavy armor for anything. Uh, yeah, so I kind of lost track of what I need. Uh, I could just just go around and explore a bit. Uh, there's some scary people there. Uh, yeah, uh, I need to find more oil. Like I, there's some oil here, but that's definitely not enough oil. Uh, so I'll just let it run for a while, and I'll just uh, go for a short exploration. Uh, so let's continue. Good just uh, yeah, tool belt is, is good. So just take a look at all the scary bugs. Fortunately, we working we're playing on peace mode, uh, so I don't have to care. But whoa, this is some nasty bugs. That is nasty. Ugh, horrible. I need to kill them just because they look ugly. That's a legitimate reason to kill them. Uh, 
Okay, let's just explore a bit and see where the hell is some oil. Uh, maybe we should like make a car. Okay, so this is some another patch of iron, but it's not a very big patch. Uh, this is one of those things where car would actually be really useful. Uh, I think car is another one of those things I cannot assemble manually. Uh, no, I cannot. No, actually, I can I make a car factory? I should make a car factory. I never made, I, you, you never need more than one or two cars, so unless you keep breaking them. So car factory is one of those things that are kind of silly. Okay, I, I wanted to make an uh, economy based on oil, but I don't see any oil. This is a problem many countries have in this world, actually. It would be really nice to have some oil, but kind of don't. Okay, uh, the bugs don't even know what I'm here, that's fine. I don't see any oil anywhere. And we are in the sand, so there should be some oil in the sand. Is actually oil more likely to be in the sand, or is it just a coincidence? Like, in places like the Middle East, there's so much oil, but like, is this something that's um, is it meaningful, or is it just a coincidence that that you have uh, all the deserts in the Middle East and also uh, all the oil there? Uh, I could totally believe this is just a coincidence. Uh, I don't know what geological processes. Uh, I mean, the stuff that, that created oil must have happened like ages ago, right? So, uh, what was my old obsolete chest? I had like an obsolete chest somewhere. I don't remember where it was. Uh, let's put some lamps. Uh, uh, in any case, uh, just because I have sand doesn't mean I should have oil. That's not how it works. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Okay, let's just metal get a bunch of lamps. Uh, at some point I will have another line of those, but that's going to be at some point. Uh, so what I, what I actually want to do is just have a, a solid fuel and feed them solid fuel. And just use this for like plastic or something. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that will just improve the speed of everything. Okay, so uh, I will at some point have to add more stuff. Uh, I want to replace inserters at some point. Uh, yeah, all the inserters should go. Not not immediately, but at some eventually. Okay, I'm just just aimlessly wandering around right now. That's not best. Okay, let's just let's just lock this stuff. Uh, okay, so can I unlock? Can I just unlock? Uh, no, I can't. There's no unlocking. Unlocking is really easy. Uh, wh what the hell just happened? Uh, Okay, how can I unlock? Is it like a one press to unlock? I think I figured it out before. Control middle click, okay. Let's, let's just clean everything up. And I'm going to set it up properly again. Okay. This is this is something I need. Uh, all different kinds of inserters I'm going to need. Uh, I am definitely going to need electric poles. I'm going to need pipes. So let's put the pipes here. I need this. I need assemblers. Uh, this should go. Sadly, it automatically sorts this stuff, so I cannot actually uh, uh, get the stuff I want to get rid of in in any uh, in any like I don't have any like garbage slots. Okay, I get it that I don't have any robots, so I cannot have a garbage slot that robots are going to automatically pick. But it would be nice to have garbage slots just so I can I can remember to uh, get rid of this stuff. Okay, let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of that as well. Yeah, so I didn't discover any oil. Uh, let's take another trip up north and see if there's any oil there. Uh, maybe my plan to have like a lot of oil is not going to work. And I cannot get the uh, oil with uh, rail tankers because we're playing vanilla and vanilla doesn't have rail tankers. Okay, this is a nice patch of, of uh, iron. Uh, I might have to use it at some point. It goes the right right way, so... I could actually add it to uh, the main bus. Uh, just smelt it locally and add it to main bus. It's really far from my main smeltery and I kind of want to rebuild the main smeltery anyway. Uh, since it uses small electric poles, so it's kind of not very compact and pretty. Uh, okay, so what do we have? Uh, plastics is fine. I can I can just just basically relax for a while. Uh, more bugs. 
Uh, I don't have to get rid of the bugs, but they kind of want to anyway. They're ugly. That, that's the thing, the bugs don't have to attack you. They look so ugly that they kind of provoke you anyway. Is, is this kind of some kind of discrimination? Because I just want to uh, get rid of the bugs based on how they look. I don't have, like, they, they've never done anything to me. Uh, this, I'm just, like, so offended by how they look that I just want to kill them. Uh, this, yeah, this is... If I said that on Tumblr, I'd probably just... just they would probably lynch me. Uh, okay, uh, there's literally no... Uh, oh, there's a small patch of oil over there, but we have ridiculously little oil. And this is fairly... B I mean, I don't need a massive amounts of oil, but I wanted to make an uh, oil-based uh, energy economy. Uh, so I guess I might not end up not doing that, or... Well, I'll think about it later. Okay, so... I think I'll end the episode here, and in the next episode we, I'm going to make a factory for fast transport belts, fast underground belts, and fast splitters. And start upgrading everything uh, from the regular belts to fast belts. Uh, I just like doing that. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye!